Hey guys, look out of here and welcome to another blog tech tips. And of course, in today's tutorial, guys, I'll be showing you how to use the dictation feature on your MacBook Air or MacBook Pro. All right, so this will be demonstrated on the M1 MacBook. I'll be showing you how to enter text or basically how to type without needing to touch your um, keys. In other words, you can use this to write your essays. You can use it to write articles. Uh, any other content that you need long form content without needing to type and of course most people do not notice and this is a key feature that you should be using all right i'll be using pages so in case you do not know what pages is go ahead and on your dock down here you should find um apple's pages it should be the one with the let me zoom in it should be the one with the pen and paper pages is basically uh typing our document creation tools such as um, Microsoft Word. So go ahead and tap. And of course, while I've tapped, you'll see here we have a new document. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit that. And of course, what's going to mix is from here, guys, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and open a blank document. So go ahead and um, double tap. And of course, there you go. Very cool app. You can check it out yourself. Notice the layout. It's basically to create um, your text document or text files. Now um, you're going to go up here at the top of the screen and you're going to go to edit. And once you're in the edit menu, you should see a bunch of options. And the option you're going to look for is so the option you want to look for here on the edit menu is the one that says down here start dictation. So you'll see it with the mic. Once you do, it should give you this option here that says, um, do you want to enable dictation? And of course it says, I'm going to hit OK to um, allow the dictation. Once you do it, it's going to ask for permission. When you dictate text, what you say is sent to Apple to be converted to text. So of course it does warn you that it does send this to Apple to be converted to text. It helps your mark recognize what you're saying. Other information is sent as well, such as the names of your contacts. So, of course, um, just be warned before enabling this, what is shared. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and um, hit Enable Dictation. All right, notice it has started. Okay, guys, so after you grant the relevant permissions, there's a few things to check. Number one, go back to Edit. Um, it's not showing now, but of course, if it still says Start, it would mean that you need to start, so go ahead and hit start again if it hasn't started. If it says stop, that means it's enabled. Quick way to get to this uh, menu to start this off once you have enabled it for the first time. You could just go ahead, um, secondary click, click the touchpad with two fingers to bring up the menu. And you can always go to speech and you can hit start speaking. So that's a secondary way to get to it. Now, in most cases, when you first enable it, it will not turn on, even if it says stop in the edit menu up here. So the way I find for the first time, or if it's not responding, um, the way to fully turn this on is to go ahead and find your shortcut keys. So you can look up at your shortcut keys, you're going to find F5. So F5 is the most effective way after setting it up for the first time to actually enable it. So if you're speaking and nothing is happening, or it says it's on, but it's not on, Go ahead and press the F5 key. So once you press the F5 key, that's a guaranteed way to start it up. So I know it's going to turn on now, so I'm going to do it. And I'm going to start speaking. So check this out on screen, guys. I'm going to press the F5 key. This is an article about how to enable voice to text on your MacBook Air M1. As you can see, guys, it works perfectly. All right, so you see, guys, everything that I say is being typed out in plain text. All right, so this um, feature is very nice. And of course, from now on, you don't have to waste time. You can actually type out your articles as you're seeing right now. All right, it does make a few mistakes, but um, of course, those can be corrected quite easily. Alright guys, as always, Ricardo Gardner from Blog Tech Tips. Same bye until next time. Bye guys.